Hi Libra, this is your September 25th through October 1st uh, weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Um, then I'll do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. And by the way, Libra, if you're celebrating your birthday this week, have a fantastic one. I hope it all works out for you in the year ahead. Have a blast. Anyway, so um, we do have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Four of Cups. Uh, we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we do have uh, the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And uh, we have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, here's the deal. I do see you and this king of wands moving forward. I see that. But um, what, how it starts could be different for all of you. Because right? we actually start with the five of wands clarified by the four of cups. And uh, we have the three of ones on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. I think those three cards are talking about the same thing, and the same thing only. But again, it could be a different scenario. Um, let me let me try to <laughs> cover all those scenarios, right? The five of ones is a card of a um, competition. It's a card of drama, conflict, um, or it could be a card of somebody who is going through an internal struggle. All right. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, or it's a card of somebody who says no or no more. All right. So for some of you, perhaps you have multiple suitors, multiple people interested in, in you, and uh, you will choose the King of Wands. All right. Perhaps this is what the King of Wands goes through on the inside themselves. Perhaps they're struggling for whatever reason, not because of some other reason, perhaps they just got something else going inside their head, right? And they're struggling with making a move, right? Perhaps they promised themselves that they will never, ever, ever <laughs> get into a relationship with anybody ever again, but they're going to meet you, and uh, that's what causes the struggle, right? And eventually they will simply capitulate and make a move, all right? For others of you, perhaps... Uh, uh, this person already made the move or are going to make a move, but, uh, you know, it's not going to be something you want. It's like, it's not going to be enough for you. And uh, you will initially reject them. Then they will go back to, the, to their drawing board and they're going to come back with the real offer, a very serious offer. Okay, um, and perhaps yet another scenario with this person, when the two of you got acquainted, the two of you got into a fight. You know, it happens all the time when people meet and they start talking about uh, stuff and they get into a fight, you know, but perhaps uh, um, they are going to think about you <laughs> after that initial um, thing and they're going to reach out to you and, they, and you say, you know what, we got off on the wrong foot uh, because we both have very strong personalities, but uh, let's, instead of fighting, uh, join our forces together and, uh, you know, conquer the world together. So something among those lines. That's how I see the five ones with the four of cups and the three of ones on the bottom of the deck. All right? Uh, the, one of those scenarios. If I, if I missed something, let me know in the, in the description uh, box down below. Nevertheless, you are moving forward with this king of ones because here they are. They are clarified by the two of cups. There's two people in the two of cups, right? Uh, this is what they want. They want to get on the same page with you for some of you. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. And uh, yeah, it's a great card to have. And uh, here comes the Ace of Pentacles, right? This is the offer. It's the same as the Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck. Same, same energy, um, right? Because uh, you see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a pentacle. That's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. It's like in the Ace of Pentacles, we're zooming in on that pentacle. Right? Both of them are very serious offer, the offer cards. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. Uh, if it's not a proposal <laughs> this week, then you'll still know that they mean business. This offer is serious. Uh, they want to have a long-term relationship with you. Perhaps they will give you something. They will do something for you. They will take steps towards uh, showing you that they are very serious about you. Right? 
and uh, yeah, in the potential outcome, we have that Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck. This is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term knight out of all her knights. Right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan ahead. In the middle of the potential outcome, we have you, the Queen of Swords. Right? And to the left from the uh, Queen of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups. Uh, the Ten of Cups is a family card. It's the, um, it's the happily ever after card. This card is uh, often referred to as one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So I really like how you have the, the emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups, but you also have uh, stability, perhaps money, uh, long-term planning with the Knight of Pentacles, right? So you basically get both of, uh, both of them. Alright, so yeah, and I always like when the king and the queen show up in, in the same reading. That means you're vibing on the king and the queen level, right? So yeah, interesting reading, uh, Libra. Let me know how the uh, five of wands with the four of cups play out for you. But again, uh, once that phase is over, it's going to be smooth sailing moving forward. Really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. Libra, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You are dealing with a bunch of people. Okay? You know what I just remembered? Um, another zodiac sign had a very similar reading in their couples spread. I did that reading yesterday. <laughs> I forget which zodiac sign it was, but that zodiac sign also had three queens in the, in the reading in the couple's spread, right? Um, it could be that all of you are getting together um, and, um, you know, celebrating your birthday, <laughs> Libra. Well, happy birthday one more time. Um, or it's just a, a bunch of uh, ladies or a bunch of guys, I don't know. We do have three queens, so most likely a bunch of ladies getting together and it could be like a girl's night out. It could be like a spa day. Um, it could be you are all going to go shopping and then grab a bite together, I don't know. Or you're all going out to a club or something, or you're all going down salsa dancing, I don't know. Let me know. The Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. You know, it's, it could also be a card of like some kind of an event where people get together and celebrate because in some tarot decks, uh, the Nine of Cups looks like there's people sitting around the table and enjoying a meal. In some other tarot decks, the Nine of Cups looks like there's people standing around and celebrating. So it could be your birthday or it could just be, like I say, a girl's night out. You're going to leave your kids with your uh, husbands or <laughs> with babysitters, I don't know, and go out to town and have a good time. I do see a good time happening here. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. And we have the uh, Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Chances are you're dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, yeah, you're dealing with this King of Cups, right? Um, they're clarified by the Page of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Wands all the way to your left. Here's the deal, Libra. I'm, I'm, I'll get straight to the point. This person is coming back be because they want one thing and one thing only. All right, the, that would be the Ace of Wands all the way to your left. We all know what it looks like, right? The Ace of Wands is uh, all about passion in this particular case, for sure. Okay, the Page of Cups that the King of Cups is uh, is clarified by them wanting to go to like a happy hour with you or go to. Uh, one of those, you know, establishments where, where they sell adult beverages, all right? The Seven of Cups, right next to the deck, this card sometimes comes through as a card of intoxication, okay? And uh, together with the Ace of Wands, that's their goal. They want you to feel, to get relaxed, if you know what I mean, and uh, have some fun with you behind closed doors, get cozy with you. Again, if you know what I mean. That's all. That's their plan. That is their plan, Libra. The Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a wounded warrior. This is you um, the following morning. Okay, I'm just being straightforward with you. That's all they want. They just want to have a little fun with you. And, um, yep, Libra. There is no major arcana cards here. Zero. Right, so it's up to you how you want to handle this. If, the, if you're the one who also wants to have some fun with this person, go ahead. <laughs> if you're thinking long term, no. Not with this individual, not with this person. All right? Cool. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra. This week we have the Eight of Wands, the Sun, the Page of Pentacles, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. I can interpret this two different ways, uh, Libra. You are either not working whatsoever because you're going to decide to go on vacation, um, or you'll go, just go for a few days. Or if you are working, you will hear some good news. You will receive some awesome, amazing news. Okay, <laughs> yeah, the eight of wands, the first card that came out, it could be a card of travel. For others of you, it's a card of communication. All right, it could be both travel and communication. The sun in the middle, um, it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun could be someplace warm, so you could be going someplace warm. Or the sun is how you will feel about whatever this news that comes in, right? The sun is the happiest card in the deck, it really is. All right. Um, the Page of Pentacles, right next to the deck. If you're going on vacation, you'll be spending some money, right? With that Page of Pentacles, not a lot, but uh, you will be spending some money. <laughs> or the Page of Pentacles could be a part of the news, right? They may send you paperwork to fill out. Or the news could be about uh, you receiving money. And uh, for some of you, it could be like a structured monthly payments, right? For others of you, it could be a race. And uh, it's not going to be that much, but still it is money in your pocket, in your bank account, right? The star on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. It could also be a card of healing for some of you. Perhaps you worked too hard over the last decade and now you need some time off. And, uh, uh, and perhaps the place you're going to be going to for that uh, quick break, it could be like... Um, like a resort where people take mud baths, people get massages, you know, it could be something like that. <laughs> or perhaps you always wanted to go to this particular vacation destination and now your wish is being granted. So, however, whatever you see here, it's still going to be good news for you. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Libra, this week. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I think most of you already guessed it, that this is pretty much a repeat of the first spread, the new love spread. This is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads. You got this King of Wands on the bottom of the deck, right? Same person. <laughs> Same individual. Yeah, they're coming in. Again, I don't know how this story starts with the... Um, with those kind of conflicting cards in the beginning of the first spread. But what we see here is that this person definitely is ready to move forward with you, ready to pursue you, ready to get serious with you. We got the Wheel of Fortune and two Aces. You know, this is amazing to have these cards. This is a four card spread, right? Including the card on the bottom of the deck, and two of them are aces. And the other card is the Wheel of Fortune, and the fourth card is a court card. You know, this is like a watered down version of the first spread. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle. It's a major arcana card. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles is a repeat card, right? We saw it in the first spread. And uh, the Ace of Cups, this is what it's all about. Love. The Ace of Cups is the most loving ace out of all four aces. The Ace of Pentacles is the most stable, the most long-term ace out of all four aces. So that's what you don't see coming. <laughs> okay, that's what's, that's what's unexpected for you. But um, anyway, yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Libra, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.